I'd bring you up to date. A um, couple of messages that have come through to Facebook. One from Mario. <laughs> Hi, Mario and family. Just thought I'd share them with uh, the world. The second is from Chuka. Let's go over to Mario's first. Now, Mario, of course, just found us fairly recently through, uh, he's come in through Facebook, but he's been watching all the vids and doing a, a catch-up, I think. And uh, he, after, you know, the one, two, three whipping yarn that we did last night and today, Mario says, I can't tell you and Brian how much I appreciate what you two are doing. Every time I leave you a message, I will always thank you, always. Real quick, tried to find Heiko, son for ya, <laughs> and only Sunfire popped up. No biggie, was just curious, loved the ripping yarns, very powerful. Thank you and take care. And of course we're talking about a, a YouTube that uh, Heiko Sunfire did, and he's called it Heiko, son for ya. And uh, it's there up on the YouTube, and I pasted it, the link to Mario. So, glad to hear from you, Mario. Thank you for your thanks. Uh, yeah. It's all about adults becoming like small children because it's all for your children. Now, what's happening in Chuka's life? This is interesting. Chuka, of course, is a, a faithful follower who lives down uh, not too far away from us on the Gold Coast and uh, seems like he is being harassed by our venerable police. Let's read. Here it is. This is the message that came in. He, he sent it to Joel. He said, Hi Joel. Thanks for putting these uploads up here as always. Just wanted to say that it is what keeps me going and you doing mighty fine all the time, helping Yahweh and all of us. The overacting vid with Ashra had so much passion that I doubt anyone watching it would not understand the truth to it. More towards the children too was great. Was doing some driving today when I got pulled over by police and they abused me and searched the car and me in all the wrong places, throwing a big fine at me without my consent, threatening me with arrest if I spoke another word was asking a couple of questions to them in a very nice manner and this is what happened. Then I went to the cop shop and they abused me there, followed by phone calls by police that didn't understand law and can't answer because they are without knowledge there. My car's a mess now, they didn't fix it. I was just made a fool of on the phone right then, laugh out loud while typing this. I was expecting an apology from them and they gave me all the excuses and said cops are allowed to do this. Looks like a court case for me real soon. And this is all for having tinted windows that are a bit darker on the back side of the car that was sold yeah, by a yeah, tint right. shop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, the joy. Yes, he had, he had yeah. Yahweh over the back of the... Uh, yeah, he did. We saw it. We met uh, Chuka at the beginning of the year. So he said, it's a bit hard to open a can of worms when everyone in the whole system is in on it. Nonetheless, they will be informed that the King of Kings is already here and will echo throughout their walls. Peace, Joel. Love ya. <laughs> Go, Chuka. You're the man. And for anybody who knows Chuka, he is the sweetest, the loveliest guy. He's one of the meek who inherits the earth. And so when he says, uh, was asking a couple of questions to them Sugar in a very nice manner, what's that? Sugar at five, 10%. Oh, what? Honey, look, <laughs> can we leave that for another vid? <laughs> Just telling the world how nice Chuka is. <laughs> oh. And so these great big policemen, what, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Oh, like Catherine last night on the um, 
as she's being, having these microwaves beamed into her head, telling her the reverse of what it is that we are talking about. And she's going, ooh, I'm so scared. Like, ooh, is Chuka supposed to be scared, or anybody else for that matter? And uh, bring it on, love court cases. <laughs> Try to get the magistrate to swear his oath of office when you've got God Almighty sitting in the courtroom. They refuse. They can't. Anyway, it's all good. So um, just thought I'd share those with you. Anything else from the other side of the desk, Yar, as you're working on your... I'll, I'm just uh, perfecting the uh, magnetic motor. Um, I've been... Uh, putting into it four adapters, so as the thing rotates, um, it uh, magnetically has a gearbox, a magnetic gearbox, and so it will turn anything, but if anything goes wrong, um, it'll stop, and uh, yet this main motor will still go, and there'll be no gears to wear out or anything. Lovely. Sounds like perfection. Experience. Okay. Now, the three of us, Rachel and Joel and I, went for a walk along the beach this afternoon, as, it, uh, as the moon was rising, and it's a full moon at its fullness tomorrow, the 31st of August, of the east coast of Australia. And remember, it's all about Isaiah. Isaiah 60. <laughs> so, things are coming, reaching a... Uh, they're culminating in this huge climax, like a tsunami. It's a spiritual tsunami. And I believe everybody is safe in New Orleans, that Isaac... Hasn't done what... Uh, pushed back out to sea. Oh. Yeah. Anybody got any updates for us? Let us know. Catherine's sitting there going, well, we're still here. They were beaming into her head last night that last night was the night that they were all going to die. Oh, just, just for you guys, the other saints out there who are getting hate mail and uh, all kinds of things, um, these voices that were being beamed into Catherine's head they were bragging at how they control the saints. And, uh, yeah, well, what they can't stand is uh, being ignored and laughing. Much laughter. Okay. It's almost over. Now, oh. Donnie, watch his face. Go through that. He got burned down. Oh, <laughs> Donnie mm -hmm. Gilson. Well, that's another story. My goodness, he really has lost the plot. Totally lost the plot. Now, I'm just bring up this camera again. There it is. I can turn it off. Later, Gators. <laughs>